Cindy Lane Ross from Bodies by Cindy back with us in our Studio 10 kitchen. She always makes something healthy. Today you're making guacamole. Guacamole. It's everybody's favorite, right? right. I love People guacamole. People are starting to venture into it, I think, a little bit more than what they used to. Subway carries yeah. it now, so, you know, why not? Maybe a person was like, yeah, it's squishy, it's green. It is, and, it is. You know, but maybe, that's how I was when I was a kid. Right. Now it's so it is. good. And avocados, they're so great for you anyway because they're high in omegas. It's a good fat, good for your hair, your skin, your nails, everything. So we definitely. Right. We want to add them into our diet. Tell me about these chips you're pairing this with. Well, it's fall, and um, I actually found these. They're gluten-free, they're pumpkin, and they have cranberries in them. And you can actually see the cranberries. Wow. And so I love to get these different gourmet chips because I'm not much of a potato chip person, of right. course. Okay, so I try to go as healthy as possible. Always pair it with gluten-free. That way, you're being social. you got the friends over. You know, maybe you're having a glass of wine, dinner party, but yet you're still able to be social, have some chips and guacamole. What about the baked chips? How do you feel about anything... The, the baked I'm not even gonna. I don't want to say a brand. Right, but you know. right, right. No, I mean, you know, I think it's it's definitely cutting out some of the trans fats, which we want to get away from. So any, anything in moderation is fine. And just like with these, you don't want to sit down and eat the whole bag. Right. You know, I limit myself to like five or six chips. But these are probably baked. They are baked, and um, just some different ingredients. They than have your the whole grains in them as well. Yeah. So, I mean, they're they're really. I, I think they're great. I mean, we usually on the weekends we always open up a bag of gluten free chips and. You you know, sometimes it's spicy chili. Right now, I found this flavor, and I'm like, oh, it's fall. I'm picturing a weekend at your house. We yeah. sit down, we open a bag of gluten-free chips. Okay, make some avocado. Now, when you're picking out your, or make some guacamole, when you're picking out your avocado, what do you need to look for? Okay, so um, I have a few here. This one, I always say darker the better, but you don't want to go too dark because this one actually has some bad spots in it. And as you can tell, we, we kind of touched it before. It sinks. That means it's already getting rotten. These are great. They still have a little bit of green color, but mm -hmm. they're starting to turn brown. When you squeeze them, you're able to indent just a little bit, so mm -hmm. it shows you they're ripe. Because if you're ready to make some guacamole and you go to the store and you get a bunch of avocados, you get home and you're not even able to cut a knife through because they're not ripe enough, you're going to be really upset. Yeah. So, you know, just make sure that you squeeze them, and if you're able to squeeze in just a little bit, they're good. Okay, so they're just good. a little mush yeah. to and them. And then, you know, if you know that maybe you're having a dinner party and you're going to make some guacamole two or three days from now, that's fine. Go ahead and, and get either the bright green avocado. So it'll be fine. Okay, some good tips. All right, what's yeah. the first step? Okay, so um, again, this is a super easy recipe. Uh, fresh garlic. So I went ahead and chopped it up nice, and we're going to go ahead and throw this in. And then I went ahead and cut open one. I usually use like three to four avocados, just depending on how many people we're going to have over. But the best rule of thumb is we're just going to scrape this out and see how easy it comes.